To do a double crochet, we're going to start by making a slip knot, placing that on our hook, and then making a chain. Once we make our chain, we are going to start working in the third chain from our hook. So we've got this loop, we've got our first one, second one, third one. To do a double crochet, before we insert our hook into this chain, we are going to yarn over. So we'll go ahead and put yarn over our hook. Then insert our hook into that chain. Yarn over, pull through just the chain, push that loop back up onto our hook. We will now have these three loops on our hook. So then we have to complete our stitch, so we will yarn over. We are going to go through these first two loops, which will give us two loops on our hook. Then I will yarn over again and go through these two loops. And that closes our stitch. We now have what essentially is two single crochets stacked on top of each other. Into the next chain, we are going to do the same thing. Before I insert my hook, I'm going to yarn over. Insert my hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through just that chain, push my loops back up onto my hook. I'll have three on my hook, so I will yarn over, pull through just those first two to act like the first single crochet, then yarn over. Pull through the second two for essentially a second single crochet, and that creates a double crochet. I then just repeat that into each chain across. Yarn over, insert into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, push it back up onto my hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Once I reach the end of the row, I will have all of these double crochets and then a little bit of an extra chain here that will act like my turning chain. So to start the next row, I'm going to do another turning chain just like what I would have here at the beginning. So when I turn my work, I'm now going in the same direction I was going when I created this first row. To create a turning chain for double crochet, because it's double the height of a single crochet, it's double the number of chains. So we will chain two. So I'll just pull a loop through to create chain one, pull a loop through to create chain two. This does not count as a stitch. The tops of my double crochets are going to look like they have V's V's, just like other crochet stitches will. And then there will be this extra little loop sitting on top, offset a bit with this column. That is how you can see your double crochets. This first double crochet I will work into. I'm going to do my yarn over, go through this gap 
where we've got this uh, yarn hanging out right there. I'm going to go through above that yarn, but making sure I'm going under both loops of the V that are on top. So I will yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull the loop through just that stitch, push it back up onto my hook to make the loops all the same size, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I then do that into the next stitch, yarn over, go through that gap, making sure I'm going underneath both of the yarn strands that make the V on top, yarn over, pull through just that stitch, push it back up onto my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I keep repeating that in the tops of every double crochet across. About to reach my final stitches. Sometimes that last one can be difficult to see. So if you remember that these double crochets always have this gap sitting offset a bit with this column, you can find that here if you just stretch pulling on this turning chain. You can see our column here and then that gap is kind of turned away from us but we can still see we've got our V. And we've got that gap right there. That's where I will work my final double crochet. You can then repeat by turning, doing a chain two for your turning chain. It does not count as a stitch. And then work double crochets in the top of every stitch. Some crochet patterns will have you turn and start your rows a different way without the chain two turning chain. You're still going to turn your work like normal, but this time instead of chaining two, we are actually going to chain three. One, two, three. Oftentimes in these patterns, they will count this chain three as the first stitch of the row because it looks very similar to a regular double crochet. When that happens, they will oftentimes instruct you to skip this first stitch as this chain will count for that first stitch. So you don't work into this stitch if you have this chain three. So to the next stitch, you will work your second double crochet since their chain counts as your first. So we will yarn over, insert into our stitch, pull up a loop, push back up on here to our hook, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There will be a slight gap in between since you didn't actually work in that first stitch, but that is okay. It will still overall look like double crochets on the side. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and keep doing that into every stitch across. And then when we get to the end of our row, if we include that chain three, we should have the same number of stitches that we started with on the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To do my next row, I will turn, chain three, which counts as my first stitch, so I will skip that first one, yarn over, Start in this next one and start double crocheting. So since that chain three counts as a double crochet, we are going to work into it like it's a regular stitch. 
So I have now reached this chain three. And as you can see, it's pretty tight here at the top. Got some chains here. It doesn't quite matter where exactly you put it. Ideally, you would put it in one of these top chains so it looks like it's in the top of the stitch. But if you have to put it in one maybe slightly below, that will be just fine. Yarn over. I'm going to insert it into this bigger gap that's easier for my hook to go through. Then yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And it looks like it's worked into the top of a double crochet, just like it did on all of these other ones. So that is how you do a double crochet, both with a chain two turning chain and with a chain three that counts as a stitch.